Hi, I'm Deb with Embroidery Library, and I want to talk about a special kind of embroidery called candle wicking. Candle wicking began as a hand embroidery technique that used white cotton thread on white muslin. That heavy cotton thread adds a gorgeous raised texture to the piece. The same cotton thread that was used to hand embroider was also used as wicks and candles, and that is how the embroidery style got its name. Today's embroidery machines can't accommodate the thickness of this thread, and some of the elaborate stitches and knots can't be done by a machine either. But there are beautiful machine embroidery designs that are inspired by, and echo, this traditional style. This is a machine embroidery design of a candle wicking butterfly. The elaborate knots that you see in the handwork are instead represented by satin stitch dots. When machine embroidering candle wicking designs, the main difference is thread choice and I'll walk you through the steps by embroidering on a tea towel. I'm using a template, which is a printout of the design, and arranging it on the towel to see where I want to embroider. After I have the template in the right spot, I mark the center point, as well as the vertical and horizontal axis lines. Hoop the towel with a piece of cutaway stabilizer, lining up the marks on the towel with the marks on the hoop. The color change sheet shows the design uses 30 weight cotton thread. Thread your machine with 30 weight cotton. You don't need special bobbin thread, just 30 weight cotton in the top. Embroider the design. I'm using a 7511 embroidery needle on this tea towel. You can use 40 weight thread too, rayon or polyester, but 30 weight cotton will give the most texture in those areas with the dots. And it's as easy as that. After embroidering, trim the excess stabilizer away from the back and you have a pretty tea towel with a design that echoes traditional candle wicking. It's a nice tribute to the evolution of needle arts. Here's another candle wicking design, a basket of cherries on a linen napkin. And this is a more elaborate piece, a rose on a pillow cover. In this, the 30 weight thread is only used for the satin stitch dots. The other parts of the design use regular 40 weight thread. Thanks for watching today. To find machine embroidery candle wicking designs, visit our website, www.emblibrary.com.